as the high and lofty one. Who inhabits eternity, whose name is holy. I dwell in the high and holy place. With him who has a contrite and humble spirit. To revive the spirit of the humble. And to revive the hearts of the contrite ones. Let us humbly confess our sins unto Almighty God, saying, Almighty and most merciful Father, we have erred and strayed from your ways like lost sheep. We have followed too much the devices and desires of our own hearts. We have offended against your holy laws. We have left undone those things which he ought to have done, and we have done those things which he ought not to have done, and there is no health in us. But you, O Lord, have mercy upon us, miserable offenders. Spare those, O God, who confess their faults. Restore those who are penitent, according to your promises declared unto mankind in Christ Jesus our Lord. And grant, O most merciful Father, for his sake, that we may hereafter live a godly, righteous, and sober life, to the glory of your holy name. Amen. Almighty God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who desires not the death of a sinner, but rather that he may turn from his wickedness and live, has given power and commandment to his ministers to declare and pronounce to his people, being penitent, the absolution and remission of their sins. He pardons and absolves all those who truly repent and genuinely believe his holy gospel. Wherefore, let us beg him to grant us true repentance and his Holy Spirit, that those things may please him which we do at this present, and that the rest of our life hereafter may be pure and holy, so that at the last we may come to his eternal joy, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. The first lesson is taken from the 18th chapter of Second Samuel, beginning at the 19th verse. Then Ahimeaz, the son of Zadok, said, let me run and carry news to the king, that the Lord has delivered him from the hand of his enemies. And Joab said to him, You are not to carry news today. You may carry news another day. But today you shall carry no news, because the king's son is dead. Then Joab said to the Cushite, Go, tell the king what you have seen. The Cushite bowed before Joab and ran. Then Ahimeaz, the son of Zadok, said again to Joab, Come what may, let me also run after the Cushite. And Joab said, Why will you run, my son, seeing that you will have no reward for the news? Come what may, he said, I will run. So he said to him, Run. Then Ahimeaz ran by the way of the plain, and outran the Cushite. Now David was sitting between the two gates, and the watchman went up to the roof of the gate by the wall. And when he lifted up his eyes, he looked, and he saw a man running alone. The watchman called out and told the king. And the king said, If he is alone, there is news in his mouth. And he drew nearer and nearer. The watchman saw another man running, and the watchman called to the gate and said, See, another man running alone. The king said, He also brings news. The watchman said, I think the running of the first is like the running of Ahibaz, the son of Zadok. And the king said, He is a good man and comes with good news. Then Ahimeaz cried out to the king, all is well. And he bowed before the king with his face to the earth and said, Blessed be the Lord your God who has delivered up the men who raised their hand against my lord the king. And the king said, Is it well with the young man Absalom? Ahimeaz answered, When Joab sent the king's servant, your servant, I saw a great commotion but I do not know what it was. And the king said, Turn aside and stand here. 
So he turned aside and stood still. And behold, the Cushite came, and the Cushite said, Good news for my lord, the king. For the Lord has delivered you this day from the hand of those who rose up against you. The king said to the Cushite, Is it well with my young man, Absalom? And the Cushite answered, May the, king, may the enemies of my lord, the king, and all who rise up against you for evil be like that young man. And the king was deeply moved and went up to his chamber over the gate and wept. And as he went, he said, O oh, my son Absalom, my son, my son Absalom, would I had died in sent of you, O oh, Absalom, my son, my son. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. second lesson is taken from the book of Acts, chapter 4, beginning at the 23rd verse. When they were released, they went to their friends and reported what the chief priests and the elders had said to them. And when they heard it, they lifted their voices together to God and said, Sovereign Lord, who made the heaven and the earth and the sea and everything in them, who through the mouth of our father David, your servant, said by the Holy Spirit, Why did the Gentiles rage? and the people's plot in vain. The kings of the earth set themselves, and the rulers were gathered together against the Lord and against his anointed. For truly in this city there were gathered together against your holy servant Jesus, whom you anointed, both Herod and Pontius Pilate, along with the Gentiles and the peoples of Israel, to do whatever your hand and your plan had predestined to take place. And now, Lord, look upon their threats, and grant to your servants to continue to speak your word with all boldness, while you stretch out your hand to heal, and signs and wonders are performed through the name of your holy servant Jesus. And when they had prayed, the place in which they were gathered together was shaken, and they were filled with the Holy Spirit, and continued to speak the word of God with boldness. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Generation. 
us now recite our profession of faith with the words of the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, dead, and buried. He descended into hell. The third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and sitteth on the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From thence he shall come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Let us pray. Almighty and merciful God, of whose only gift it comes that your faithful people do unto you true and laudable service. Grant, we beg you, that we may so faithfully serve you in this life, that we fail not finally to attain your heavenly promises, through the merits of Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. O eternal God, our Heavenly Father, who alone makes men to be of one mind in a house, and stills the outrage of a violent and unruly people. We bless your holy name, and ask that it would please you to appease the seditious tumults which have been lately raised up amongst us, most humbly begging you to grant us grace, that we may obediently walk in your holy commandments, lead a quiet and peaceable life in all godliness and honesty, and continually offer unto you our sacrifice of praise and thanksgiving for these your mercies toward us through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. O most mighty and merciful God, to whom alone belong the issues of life and death, in this time of grievous sickness we flee unto you for relief. Deliver us, we beg you, from our peril. Give strength and skill to your ministers of healing. Bless the means of cure and grant that, perceiving how frail is our earthly life, we may apply our hearts unto that heavenly wisdom which leads to eternal life, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. O Lord, our Heavenly Father, the high and mighty ruler of the universe, who does from your throne behold all the dwellers upon earth, most heartily we beg you, with your favor, to behold and bless your servant, Donald Trump, our president, our Senate and representatives in Congress assembled, Philip Murphy, the governor of New Jersey, Tom Wolfe, the governor of Pennsylvania, and all others in authority. And so replenish them with the grace of your Holy Spirit, that they may always incline to your will and walk in your way. Empower them plenteously with heavenly gifts. Grant them in health and prosperity long to live. And finally, after this life, to attain everlasting joy and happiness through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Almighty God, the strong tower and refuge of your people, we entreat your favor upon the officers and all who are enlisted in the service of defense of our country. Ever spare them from being ordered into a war of aggression or oppression. Use them, if need be, as your instruments in the defense of our national life and liberty. By restraining, we beg you, the greed and wrath of man, that wars may cease in all the earth. Watch over also all policemen and law enforcement officers everywhere, especially Tim Richvalski. Protect them from harm in the performance of their duty. We pray also for firefighters, first responders, and health care workers who protect us and ours from all types of danger. Give these men and women the courage and skills to carry out their duties well and safely, when they must go into the face of danger, be by their side. Watch over their families, reminding them that those who go into danger are in your loving care. This we ask in the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. Amen. Almighty and everlasting God, from whom comes every good and perfect gift, send down upon our bishops, especially Foley, Ray, and Chuck and other clergy, and upon the congregations committed to their charge, the healthful spirit of your grace, that they may truly please you 
Pour upon them the continual dew of your blessing. Grant this, O Lord, for the honor of our Advocate and Mediator, Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. O God, the Creator and Preserver of all mankind, we humbly beg you for all sorts and conditions of men, that you would be pleased to make your ways known unto them, your saving health unto all nations. More especially, we pray for your Holy Church universal, that it may be so guided and governed by your good spirit, that all who profess and call themselves Christians may be led into the way of truth and hold the faith and unity of spirit in the bond of peace and in righteousness of life. Finally, we commend to your fatherly goodness all those who are in any ways afflicted or distressed in mind, body, or state, especially those for whom our prayers are desired. We pray, Lord, for those suffering the effects of Hurricane Laura, for the churches and our friends and family who own businesses that have been so greatly affected by the virus, especially Heather and Al, Larry, Mark, Roy, and Bill. For Rachel and her upcoming surgery for the removal of tumors on her liver. For Dominic, Heather and Grace, Ariel and Oliver. For Brian, the Blitz family, for Audrey Cox and her recovery from Lyme disease, and for Chris and Laura, who are suffering from COVID. That it may please you to comfort and relieve them according to their several necessities, giving them patience under their sufferings and a happy issue out of all their afflictions. And this we beg for Jesus Christ's sake. Amen. Almighty God, Father of all mercies, we, your unworthy servants, give humble and hearty thanks for all your goodness and loving kindness to us and to all men. We bless you for our creation, preservation, and all the blessings of this life, but above all for your immeasurable love and the redemption of the world by our Lord Jesus Christ, for the means of grace and for the hope of glory. And we pray, give us such an awareness of your mercies that our hearts may be truly thankful, and that we may declare your praise, not only with our lips, but in our lives, by giving up ourselves to your service, and by walking before you in holiness and righteousness all our days. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, to whom with you and the Holy Spirit be all honor and glory, world without end. Amen. Almighty God, you have promised to hear the petitions of those who ask in your Son's name. Mercifully accept us who have now made our prayers and petitions to you, and grant us those things which we have asked in faith, according to your will, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Ghost, be with us all evermore. Amen. The peace of God, which passeth all understanding, keep your hearts and minds in the knowledge and love of God and of his Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost be amongst you and remain with you always. Amen. As we consider, usually at this time, I would remind you to support your local parish. Um, when possible, you can do that now by going to church. St. John's Church is now open for 8.30 and 10 o'clock services every Sunday, and you are welcome to attend. We do have certain restrictions up for the safety of everyone, including wearing a mask and keeping social distance. And we have the church interior set up to assist with that. But we certainly would welcome you to come and attend. If you are not able to attend and would like to support our ministry anyway, you may check out below our link to our church website, which has information on how you can support it. Or, of course, as always, you can write a check and mail it to the church. Also, while you're checking out below, please, if you are not subscribed already, please subscribe to St. John's by the Sea and click on the bell icon after you subscribe. Also feel free to like the videos. That's always a nice thing and it helps the videos to get promoted through YouTube. Thank you for visiting St. John's Bible Church. Did you get that one? Yeah. Thank you for visiting St. John's
song by the church. This is this is Millen Carter staying in the what's that called? Thank you for visiting Saint John Fiery Church. This is Carter and not Noah. Only Carter. This is Carter and Noah. Thank you for visiting Saint John. Hi. Thank you for visiting St. John's Bye,